Is it a challenge navigating through your wardrobe every morning looking for something to wear? Or maybe you can't find the dress you bought on sale over the winter to wear this spring. Maybe your closet is in need of a makeover. Our spring cleaning series continues this morning with Anna D'Souza, style contributor for eBay. She joins us with some tips on how to upgrade our closets. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So we're going to talk about spring cleaning. We have a lot to get to. First, tell me, what is a capsule wardrobe? Okay, so you're going to take everything out of your closet, and you're basically going to separate it into three bins. The first is your capsule wardrobe. It's basically 37 pieces that you're going to rotate every three or four months. So it's Seasonal rotating. items, I guess. Exactly. So these 37 pieces include shoes and jewelry. These are all the pieces that make you feel really happy wearing them. Where did so, you come up with 37, though? That's kind of the like magic a fashion number. insider uh, number. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So the second bin is your trial separation bin. The items that you like, maybe they don't fit so perfectly anymore. You're going to put them under your bed. If you don't search for them in three or four months, out they go. Mm -hmm. The last bin is your sell bin. Now, there's a very high likelihood that you have cash in your closet and you don't even know it. Probably from the trial separation bin. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you probably have goods that have uh, are lightly worn or are new with tags. I'm partnering with eBay. They have over 160 million active buyers. They sell a pair of shoes every two seconds. So there's a very high likelihood that you can get cash for the items you have so mm -hmm. you can revamp your wardrobe too. They also have a partnership with SHIP. Now the thing that trips people up most when, when selling. They're selling exactly is actually looking for that box looking for the bubble wrap in order to get everything together. Now, with their partnership, you basically sell your item, you request a ship courier, they come to your house within 20 minutes here in New York City, and it's free until the end of June. You hand the courier that blouse or the handbag, and you don't have to worry about shipping or they, packing it. They do everything for they do you. They do everything for you. Okay, so if you aren't selling, but you want to organize, we have some good tips here. Exactly. You want to go and look to fashion insiders and visual, visual merchandising experts, right? They do it the right way. You go to a boutique and you just kind of go ooh and ah exactly. right, over how they've decorated and over how they've organized. Now, when you are uh, packing things into your drawer, you typically fold it and you put one item on top of the other. And you forget what's on the bottom. Exactly. <laughs> so stack it upright like this so you can take one quick gander and see what you have um, mm -hmm. in, your, in your drawers. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes for your lingerie drawer, which tends to be a mess. Uh, <laughs> right, like a black <laughs> hole of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So look to those really fancy, beautiful lingerie stores. They actually compartmentalize everything. So for instance, you can get a shoe box put it in there. You can put your bras and you can put your other lingerie in other little compartments and it looks really beautiful. It does. Time. Okay. And this is a trick that they use in boutiques too. Exactly. This is an insider tip from all those fancy boutiques that you go to. They hang their denim with a shower curtain ring. So mm -hmm. you can hang this and then your denim is not going to get really wrinkled. And you can hang them up in the closet. That's really nice. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a little display. Right. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to feel inspired every day, right? So there are some items that you might not carry every day, right? You're probably not taking your clutch, your beautiful clutch to the office, but why not display it in a really beautiful way right by your closet so you feel inspired by it and you're able to, you know, mm -hmm. take a look and then use it and rotate it in when you can. Very nice decorating idea. These I love these these few ideas here. I'm completely obsessed with these. The first one here is the hanger. Now you've probably seen those felt hangers. They can be pretty pricey. Turns out you can actually make this for practically free with just a little bit of hot glue. So you just zigzag a hot glue onto mm -hmm. a hanger. It can be a plastic hanger or a wood one like this one. And basically all of your strappy dresses are will not fall slide off. off. Now talk to me about this here. <laughs> I love this mm -hmm. hack. I feel like you're gonna use yes. this too. So you just grab some chalk. This is a this DIY. Is chalk. It's okay. chalk. It's a DIY dehumidifier for your closet so your your clothes stay really fresh, especially as we go into summer. But what I love is next leveling it. So if you have items, let's say work items, you can sprinkle a little bit of essential oils like a citrus or an eucalyptus or a rosemary onto that section so it's really energizing. You open up your closet doors and, and it just feels fresh. Feel fresh and energized for the day. And lastly, we have these lights here on the end. Right. At the cornerstone of every celebrity closet is smart lighting and you can do it yourself with Christmas lights. Whether it's the type that you plug in or even the battery operated ones, you just tape it on the inside border of your closet. So now every time you open up your closet, you have a beautifully lit closet mm -hmm. with all of the items that now you're inspired to wear. Exactly. <laughs>
it's all nice and organized. Exactly. Anna, thank you so much. We really thank appreciate you. it. And for more information, if there's anything you missed from this segment, you can catch all of these ideas by going to our website, cbsnewyork.com.